Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to make your Mixamo animation look much better. Because Mixamo in its auto rigging process is, um, does quite a few things to models. I'll be showing you how to make it smoother, blah blah blah, all that stuff, and how to texture it too so that it looks better. So yeah, let's get started. First tip for making everything look better is adding subdivision surface. Now, um, some people know if you add subdivision surface to the head or something, weird lines like these would show up. So I'm going to be showing you how to make it like ready for rigging and stuff like that. So basically you just want to go into your outliner, collapse, um, expand the armature and make sure you shift click all these. Go into edit mode by pressing tab and uh, make sure you press um, A to select all the vertices, press Alt J or you could press S3 and um, I think it's quads or something, tries to quads, there you go. And um, basically what this does is it untriangulates the model. Then what you want to do is you want to press M by distance. And what I like to do to the head usually is go to loop cut tool and add three new ones to the head. And once that's done, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to each and every model. So I'm just going to be hiding this little empty in the armchair. And what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be making sure we add a side division surface and a weighted normal so it's smoother on zero and you want to make sure the render um three or something like that now i put it on three and levels on viewport is zero so it keeps performance and i'm just going to do this with every single model okay and there you go and um if we actually render this so if i add a camera right here and i just render this in cycles or something it does look smoother. The models itself, it just looks so much smoother. And everything is like more rounded, so it just looks so much better. So yeah, that's uh, my first tip. Okay, next one is actually really simple. Go to material, um, go to modifier tab, and uh, yes, modifier tab. And make sure you check preserve volume on each and every one of the um, armature modifiers. and make sure that the armature modifies at the top on each one since if it isn't um then it's not going to look great so if i move this down it might not actually look that good so if i just show you this it looks fine right here but sometimes yes see it has a difference so you should really be doing that so that's um my my second tip my third one actually involves texturing so yeah, let's get started now a lot of you guys out there you're all um wondering why the hell this is ev glitch now in material view you will see this whole thing and rendered view if you're using ev because uh, material view is actually easy and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fixing this and make the texture even better than ever so basically what we do is you want to go to outliner make sure you're in the blender file and make sure in materials you delete the material for your um, character so just right click and delete because there's no there's no um, shortcut now our character is completely white so yeah and if you already have a material in there quick texture or something we're gonna be using that later now in images what you want to do is you just want to delete any extra ones like any any image that's the same as the other one which says 0.001 just delete it, it's for alphas and stuff. Ah, it's stupid, I don't know why we need that. And um, if you used the OBJ trick for Mixamo instead of doing the thing that I did in my video, um, then no textures will show up. So just um, don't follow on with the images part. So add the texture uh, material by just going right here, texture. And just want to open up this timeline and change it to a shade editor. Zoom in, move around using middle mouse, drag, blah blah blah. Shift A to add or add and add an image node or image texture. Make sure it's smart and make sure you're using the image that we had before. Connect that to base color and the moment should show up with the texture. And if we add this material, 
to every single one or if we go right here right click and we is if we mark as asset if we go right here to the um, asset browser and we just drag it on every single model it's much easier to do actually so there we go and now if we go back to shade editor we can now do some stuff so what we can do is we can add bump right here and uh, we can just go and connect the bump to height we can make the strength about like point i'd say point two five and the distance point five connect the normal to the displacement and the normal of the uh, bsdf uh, principal bsdf and you will automatically see there's some really cool stuff going on right here like it looks a bit 3d and it's really nice actually i like it and um when you have subdivisions on it looks even better so yeah that's one of my tips just because it fakes 3d clothing really well and uh yeah there's a load there are a load of other texturing tips you could do for like i don't know other youtube videos like alex gfx um I don't know, alexander the z-tron uh, he did subdivision um uh, no subsurface scattering tutorial so you might want to check that out and yeah and the subdivision surface modifier actually makes uh the texture less broken really it makes it look nicer so as you can see right here it, does, it isn't as broken as when it's on zero so if we have it on three and here you see it's all nice and stuff so yeah um if you put all these tips together it does make everything look uh better and if you and by the way you may be asking what preserve volume did but actually what it did is um in vendor rigging uh, well, in rigging in general, I think um, what happens is the models get smaller as like something's more bent in. But if you actually turn this on, it doesn't. So as you can see, if I turn it off and off, yeah, there you go. And it just looks more realistic, really, and it looks more Robloxy. So that's things which you should just enable to make it look less like one of those random things which you just ripped off the internet and then put it in. I mean, that is really what you did, but. Um, make it look better is just one of those things which you should really do because eh, it just stands out more and so the bump uh, you might not want to turn that on for a bad PC uh, you might want to only do that for a good PC since it uh, makes rendering times longer and uh, yeah and through the shade editor you can do other stuff in texturing like make the roughness zero make it look glossy and stuff which actually is good for rain and stuff so like if if there's a rainy scene or something i don't know it's good for that it makes a character look wet or something i don't know but there's just all these things which you could do which just makes everything look so much better and uh yeah thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you later bye